I wonder, are you a stressy Jesse? Well, come with me on a journey to relieve your anxiety. My name is Mandy Jane and I'm your therapy godmother. Let me welcome you to this immersive follow along video which guides you through an NLP timeline technique for anxiety and welcome. This technique was originally created by Richard Bandler through NLP and when practiced it can take as little as 30 seconds to complete and to work for you. Now first of all I want you to give yourself permission to take the next 20 minutes just for yourself. I know that that may feel difficult for you because you've been helping everyone else. Just allow yourself to listen to this recording and learn something new to help with releasing your future anxious events. Now please don't listen to this audio whilst you are driving or working on any kind of machinery because you need to allow and give yourself that undivided attention to this recording to help you with your future. So, what I would like you to do, first of all, is find a place where you can do this technique without being disturbed. Where you can let everything go and know that nothing else matters. Allow yourself to get comfortable either sitting in a chair or sitting on a bed, whatever feels best for you really. Pause this recording until you have found a suitable place. Welcome back if you're coming back from finding a comfortable place. Now get comfortable, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and close your eyes to feel into your inner world. Now first of all, I'm going to explain about the timeline. A timeline is a way of resetting your sense of personal history. We know the kind of thing where you might say to yourself, if only I knew then what I know now, how different would things have been? Or, if only I could go back? Or, what if that wonderful thing can happen in the future? In summary, your timeline is how your unconscious mind organises past experiences, events and memories and how it creates new desired experiences in the future. You will have a sense of time. Even if I asked you now, what time is it? The chances are you will more than likely know within 30 minutes of what the right time is. You will also have a concept of space. Before we can do the timeline technique for anxiety, let's find out where your own timeline is. Now with your eyes still closed, let's begin. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. That's it. I would like you to think of yesterday. Where is yesterday? Is yesterday in front of you, behind you, or to the left or right of you? Get a sense of where yesterday is around you. Now I would like you to think of last year. Where is last year? Is last year in front of you, behind you or to the left or right of you? And get a sense of where last year is around you. Now I would like to t you to think of tomorrow. Where is tomorrow? Is tomorrow in front of you, behind you or to the left or right of you? Get a sense of where tomorrow is around you. And I would like you to think of next year. Where is next year? Is next year in front of you, behind you, or to the left or right of you? Get a sense of where next year is around you. After doing that, just notice where your timeline is. Just notice and remember where your past goes off to and where your future goes off to. Does your timeline run 
in front of you or through you. Now open your eyes. How did that feel? It's amazing how easy it is. Now that you have discovered and noticed where your own timeline is, let's work through the timeline technique for anxiety together. The purpose of this exercise is that you are going to go into the future on your timeline. Past the event with the anxiety around it, we'll be looking down at the event 15 minutes after and making sure you are imaging the most successful outcome. By doing this exercise, you'll be creating a new neuro pathway in your brain to help empower and develop your positive inner voice, your inner cheerleader that encourages you and supports you in a very kind way. Now make yourself comfortable again and with your eyes closed, what I would like you to do is allow me to take you through this timeline technique for anxiety step by step. Let's begin. Now with your eyes still closed and you sitting there comfortably, what I would like you to do is, I would like you to think. Can you think of something in your future that you are feeling anxious about right now? Is there something in your future that you can feel anxious about? You don't have to pick the biggest thing like a driving test or the exam or the job interview as all these things could have a lot of anxiety around it. You don't even have to pick the biggest thing you have anxiety around. Just pick something, maybe going on a date or maybe anxious because you have that report or project that needs handing in. Maybe anxious because you have to pay your bills next week. Whatever it is, something in the future, in the near future. When you think about something, we are going to work on it together. However, this is also an exercise that you can learn to do yourself. Now, is there something in your future that you can feel anxious about? And have you thought about that something in your future that you are feeling anxious about right now? With your eyes closed and using your powerful imagination, I want you to imagine yourself floating up out of your body and above your timeline. Now I want you to turn and look towards your future and I would like you to float 15 minutes past the successful completion of that event that you have the anxiety around. So what I mean by that is that for you to float 15 minutes past that event and staying above the event. I want you to use your powerful imagination and actively imagine what the successful completion of that event would look like. So for instance, in this case, we're saying about paying the bills. So what I'd like you to do is to imagine the best case scenario of perhaps having your notes ready, speaking to a lovely person on the other end of the phone, being really comfortable in talking to them on that phone paying your bill in a successful way and then feeling really proud after it that you've actually paid that bill. Now see yourself down there on the timeline making that best case scenario with the most successful completion of that original event. Now with you imagining that I want you to go 15 minutes past that successful completion where is your anxiety? Is it gone now? It's gone? Fantastic. It's gone that fast. So go ahead, turn back around and come back to now. And of course you may be saying to yourself, well this isn't true, it's made up. Well I'm going to say yes of course you are making it up 
um, you do that with all of your what ifs and make up the worst case scenario in your mind all the time anyway. So now what we're doing here is we are going to make up the best case scenario and notice that when you do that, the anxiety actually shuts off. Now it may be that there is some anxiety left um, or the anxiety hasn't gone. In the first instance, it may be best for you to just make sure that you did actually imagine the successful completion. Um, sometimes we can go and imagine the not successful completing uh, and the anxiety will still be there. Um, it could also be that you have stepped into your main timeline. You have come down and dropped down into your timeline, in which case the anxiety will still be there. The important thing with this is for you to stay up above your timeline and above that event and then to take yourselves the 15 minutes past the event but still stay up above the event that is really important in this case and again if you still have that anxiety um, on your event what you need to do is just ask yourself what am I anxious of now because sometimes there is a bigger event that's attached to this event in the future uh, for instance, you're worried about paying your bills. However, it may be that you're really worried about paying your taxes next year, which is further down your timeline in the future. So this shows that there is a bigger thing that is associated or attached to that smaller event of paying that one bill. Therefore, in this case, what you need to do is just say to yourself, what am I anxious of right now? And then to go to 15 minutes past the successful completion of say paying them taxes further down your timeline and ask yourself where is your anxiety is it gone now now remember keep above the timeline and again float yourself above there thank you now you have done that exercise I would like to tell you a little story let me tell you a story. I remember working with a client who was going to give a presentation in a couple of weeks time. Now this client had done a previous presentation before, however this time they were experiencing a lot of anxiety around the presentation itself. Therefore we decided to use this technique and I asked the client to go ahead and think about the anxiety around the presentation and to then float up above his timeline 15 minutes past the successful completion of that presentation. I waited a few seconds and then asked, well, where is your anxiety? Is it gone now? My client hesitated and said, no. We explored what was going on and I asked, what are you anxious about now? My client mentioned that they were in fact really anxious about what the reviews would be rather than the actual presentation. So this time I asked the client to imagine 15 minutes past the successful completion of all the reviews from beginning to end to the last review that had ever seen about the presentation. To go all the way out to that event floating above the timeline into the future to look 15 minutes past that event and see the successful completion of all the reviews on that presentation. I then asked, where is the anxiety? Has it gone in an instant? They came back to now and you could just tell in their physiology that they were so happy, so relieved like a big weight had been lifted off their shoulders. After doing this exercise, my client explained to me that every time they were having feedback, even though they did an amazing presentation, they would go home and be completely deflated. Their mood would get really low. They would then have to slump in their chair for an hour or two. They mentioned that they didn't realize that they were doing this. They were imagining all these bad things, like people listening to the presentation, didn't like them, thought they were stupid, etc. Their mind was going over and over all the bad things that might have happened during the presentation, even though they were getting good feedback.
When you choose to focus and imagine all of the negatives, like my client did, the what ifs, it might be sucking the joy out of your own life. And so this type of loop that goes on in your subconscious mind will constantly create anxiety for you. Therefore, using this technique, you can break this anxiety down with this strategy. So let's go ahead, let's try it one more time. Get yourself comfortable again. That's it. Now let's say right in the now, you can think of something else you have anxiety around. And in this case, making a phone call to pay a bill. You don't even have to close your eyes when you get good at it, but go ahead and close your eyes. Now float above the timeline and turn around to face the future. Go 15 minutes past the successful completion of that event as you are above the timeline. This is imagining the best case scenario of a successful completion. For example, you sat com comfortably next to the phone, had all of the notes ready for what you wanted to say, you spoke to a lovely person on the phone, everything got sorted out, you put the phone down, feeling really happy that you'd completed and proud of yourself that you made the phone call and paid the bill. Now look down, Look at yourself down there on the timeline, being 15 minutes past that successful completion of that event and ask yourself, where is the anxiety? It's gone. And then turn around, come back to now. And of course, if anxiety is still there, make sure you are 15 minutes past the event you are imagining the successful completion of that event and looking at yourself down on your timeline and ask yourself what am I anxious of right now and of course you may say this technique isn't true it's made up yes of course you're making it up you do that with what ifs and make up the worst case scenarios in your mind all the time whilst you're focusing and imagining all the negatives that you think are going to happen. So you are going to make up the best case scenario and look down at the timeline, 15 minutes past the successful completion of that event. And notice that when you do that, the anxiety just shuts off. And now, after doing this technique with me, you are no longer a very stressy Jesse. You did it. And you are now on your way to being. Yes, stressy Jesse. Anything is possible. Well done. Amazing. And here are your next steps. To start making a list of all your anxiety that you experience in one day. It may be as many as 50 different ones. By being aware of your anxieties and by keep practicing this technique with them anxieties one by one, you will start to notice that you experience less and less anxiety over the next 21 days. Thank you for watching and listening to my video. For more information on how I can help you, please visit my website at www.yourtherapygodmother.co.uk Remember to keep being amazing. You have always been the best version of yourself with the resources and awareness you had at that time. Thank you again for watching and bye for now.